The Hornby KFA wagons have been on my hit list for over a year now, but it proved very challenging to get hold of. Thankfully I was able to pick up one of the 2022 range recently. I wasn't disappointed, so let's take a closer look. Hi, thanks for joining today's review. So the first thing we're going to do is a quick unboxing of one of these wagons. We'll then take a close-up view. We'll follow this with a quick running session and then we'll get into our normal summary, scoring and final recommendation. Okay, let's get underway. Hi, welcome today. I want to do a quick look at this um, Hornby KFA wagon. Um, I I've been finding it very hard to get these, but I did manage to track down this particular one. It's the R60045. Uh, there are a number of them in the series. Um, they've been very popular, uh, so people have been picking these up and they've been selling out. So I want to take a quick look at it and kind of give you my thoughts on it and, uh, and uh, incorporate it as part of a train and, and uh, see how she runs as well. So let's just take her out. So she's got, this one's uh, got various chemical containers on it and some of the others would have uh, other container types. Uh, it's got these close couplers and a little bit of pipe work. Um, no, I won't be using those couplers, I'm not a fan of them. Um, now first thing I'll kind of note out the back gap here is the crack in the, uh, in the, in the plastic um, holder here. So uh, this isn't a very heavy um, vehicle, so I'm kind of surprised to see that, a little bit disappointing. Um, I think these the packaging for these is probably adequate. Um, there's a nice cover on top of that, which is good. Let's keep it together. So we'll take this out of the box. A little bit of weight to it, so that, that's okay. Um, I have been keen to get my hands on, on one of these. Uh, so what we might do is actually might just take these off. Uh, they lift off, so they're good quality. Um, there's good uh, labeling, etc., on that. And then this interesting uh, smiley face at the end of it. I uh, haven't seen that before. I'll we'll take off the next one here. Again, um, a nice, very nice looking uh, detail on that. And uh, again, the, the clarity is really good. Um, these probably do need a little bit of weathering, to be honest, to make them a bit more realistic. But... No complaints about the registration of all the labeling and branding that's on them. Um, safety labels, etc. Uh, the ladder work, etc. They're good quality, so there's nothing, um, you know, each one of these, if you were to buy them as a separate uh, item, would, would, would uh, probably set you back maybe even eight to ten pounds, you know. So uh, when you factor that in the overall cost of, the, of this, it's, it's actually pretty good. Uh, now, the frame here is metal, and I guess this is kind of one of the reasons I wanted to get a look at it, because I do always prefer, and it does have spring buffers, believe it or not. Uh, so she does have spring buffers, uh, so we'll lift it up. There we go. And they've got metal tips on them as well, they're metal spring buffers, sitting into the metal frame. So that's nice. Um, you've got a, a, a kind of a spring return coupling mechanism here. It's kind of interesting, because the spring is way back here behind the... Uh, the bogey, but I suppose it's because of the, the length of the overall wagon. Um, that's the same on the other side. So no complaints for that. We'll see how this runs. Um, she should, the wheels look pretty free, so it should run pretty good. And this nice detail on the underframe here, and it's metal in the main. There's probably a few plastic parts in there as well, but there's, there's a lot of metal work in there. There's plastic in there, they're plastic. Uh, but the frame is metal. It feels very solid, feels good, and um, and there's a good bit of detailing along the side. Again, we'll do a close-up view of this detailing. Um, overall, I'm kind of pleased with it. I think this is... Um, I was keen to get them, and I can see why I was keen, because it does. it is a nice, um, a nice freight wagon. And uh, I can understand why people would like to build up a, a rake of, of these. So... I think that looks pretty good. It it actually um, actually it's, it seems a bit better to me than I thought it would be. Uh, the metal frame I really do like. 
Um, now packaging is the standard Hornby packaging and it sounds like this metal frame perhaps has been one of the reasons why that's broken um, and maybe it needs better packaging so that's uh, we'll factor that later on. Okay this looks good we'll do a close-up view on this I'm keen to get it out on the track I'll, 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 I don't have any more of these so I'm gonna have to combine them with a rake of other uh, other freight wagons and we'll take a look at that and see how she performs but I, I think this looks like a, a wagon that's gonna gonna do okay on the track to be honest. Okay let's move to the next part of the review. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's get into the close-up view. So we've got the metal underframe there and we've got the nice bogey configuration. And we've got the three uh, different tanks and as you can see all the registration of the lettering, branding, etc. on the tanks is very good. A lot of good underbody detail there on the actual uh, flat itself. And you can see the very clear lettering there uh, in terms of the different signage and different uh, warnings, etc. And so overall, very good. I'm very pleased with this particular model. Some uh, little bit of uh, bowing there of the plastic supports around the tanks. Probably not a total deal breaker for me, but uh, some people may not be happy with that. But overall, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty pleased with the appearance on these. And this is with um, a kind of a 360 view from above. And again, there is a little bit of bowing, as you can see on some of those support arms. Probably isn't as visible here, just on the middle, middle one in particular. These are pretty good and they're actually pretty sturdy. I dropped uh, one of these down a carpeted stairs and it actually survived. So they're pretty robust as well. And obviously the metal underframe is robust and you've got those metal sprung buffers as well, which I wasn't expecting on this model. Overall, very nice appearance on the model. And I think um, I, think I would have scored uh, pretty good on the appearance front. So next we're going in into the running session. So we're running with a rake of cargo wagons and we're sitting in the middle of that. You can see it there, our KFA wagon. Uh, I am going to do a review of the uh, Revolution Trains cargo wagons. They're tagged on the end there. There's a little bit more to run on those, so uh, th that's in a whole other discussion and I'll cover that in the review of those particular wagons. This uh, KFA wagon runs really well. We're running on radius 3 here. Uh, getting up to a prototypical speed of 65 miles per hour. We've been led out by a Hornby Class 92, which is actually doing pretty okay uh, with this particular rig. And I guess the, the main positive is that there's really nothing to note here. Uh, there's no issues over the Radius 2, over the point, Hornby point work, or the Express uh, Pico Express point work. Very stable, very smooth running. Uh, pretty low friction as well, so it's a, it's a relatively low load on your locomotive, so you could have a pretty decent rake of these, even with a, a, a locomotive like the, the Class 92 we have in front of us here. Uh, so overall, I was actually very pleased uh, with the running performance on these, and um, it probably wasn't surprising. Uh, they do look well engineered, and as I said, there's absolutely no issues with them at all, and they stay very solidly on the track. And, and they look good and no issues at all with any kind of derailment or anything like that. I only go up to a prototypical speed of 65 miles per hour in this particular running session. The reason for that was actually because of the cargo wagons and uh, not because of this particular wagon. And I think this bike would have no problems going to higher speeds. Uh, so if you uh, do want it to run a little bit faster, I don't think that would be an issue at all. So overall, I am pleased with the running performance of this model and I'm actually going to give it a 10 out of 10. It doesn't have any fault as a freight wagon. It has everything from a running perspective that you want in a freight wagon. Okay. Okay, so let's get into the summary section. So we're looking at the Hornby 2022 range of KFA container wagons. There's two currently available, the R60045 and 60046. And both of these uh, come with uh, tank uh, containers and they have a recommended retail price of $50.99. Now we'll look at the typical prices uh, when we get into the next uh, slide. There are a number available on pre-order and these come with actual containers, uh, both a combination of 3 by 20 uh, foot and then uh, a 1 by 20 foot and 1 by 40 foot. And then there's also the actual container wagon itself without any containers or tanks on it. 
uh, for 35.49. Now, interesting to note, those, those other ones are actually have increased in price and a further 250 on top of the current pricing. So probably representative of the gradual increase in prices overall. So that's a little bit disappointing. So pick them up now while they're a little bit cheaper, I guess. So for the particular model we've been looking at today, it's the 60045, which comes uh, with the metal underframe and dual bogies and uh, three tanks, uh, bulk haul, interbulk and the Van der Bosch tanks installed on it. Runs on a minimum radius two curves, and I didn't have any issue on radius two curves when I tested it there. Uh, come with NEM pockets with tension lock couplers and also the optional closed couplers as well that come in the box. Has metal sprung buffers, which is kind of a surprise, a nice little feature. Unboxed weight is 118 grams, that's including the tanks, and 71 grams just for the uh, the wagon itself. Now, the top scale speed I ran it at here was 65 miles per hour, but as I mentioned during the running session, I don't think this would have any problems uh, doing scale speeds of 80 miles an hour or even more if you want to go there. To, so I think that's the kind of good news. It's, it's a very good runner. Retail selling price varies between 43.95 up to the recommended retail price. So it is worth shopping around. You'll probably typically see it in the range of 45 to 46 pounds. So here on the scoring. So as really per the running session, I'm giving a 10 out of 10 on running performance. It's basically nothing to report on the running performance. It's very, very good. And it, as, as I mentioned, it is a lighter uh, wagon. While very sturdy and runs well on the track, it is a lighter wagon. Its drag factor on a locomotive is, is low. So uh, you can get good, decent rakes uh, on lower powered mo locomotives with this. Appearance and detail, I'm giving a 9. Did have that little bit of an issue with the Boeing, uh, I guess, on, on, the, on the tanks. But overall, I think the appearance in this is very good. I know, and uh, the underframe uh, detail, also very good. Extras and variants. Got a lot of extra variants coming down the track on this. A lot of extra detail on the main container flat itself, which is nice. Both plastic and metal detail. Price value, and I did this at the £45 mark, which is kind of the average you'll kind of pay out there. It's a 7 out of 10. It has crept up. Uh, these were in the kind of £39, £41 range, probably seven, eight months ago, which would have scored better, uh, obviously. Uh, so they have kind of drifted a bit because of the increases in pricing. So it is worth shopping around as well, as I say, to get that sort of a price. So overall, it's an 8.6, which is very high scoring. These are up there with some of the best wagons I've ever reviewed. They are excellent models. There's a growing range as well, so people can have a, a good range with unique uh, wagons within it. And I'm very pleased with the overall quality of the, the container flat and also the tanks that were provided with it as well. Uh, the packaging I mentioned during the unboxing, because it had a little bit of damage on it and... If you get any wagons like this for from, say, the new players, the Acura scales of this world or Revolution Trains or whatever, you're going to get them in better quality boxes than Hornby are giving you, for example. And with the Hornby prices now the way they are, they're the equivalent or more than those. So I would expect maybe an improvement there, particularly for, for nice detailed wagons like this. And then the price increase, as I mentioned, it has crept up, which has kind of impacted the value proposition. But all things considered, these are still excellent wagons, and I'm very pleased with this particular one, I will get some more of them because they become available. And so I have no hesitation in recommending them and they come with a highly recommended rating. I've had a little bit of grief with Hornby models over the last while, but not with this one. This one's really good. I'm very pleased with it. And as I say, no compunction in recommending it to you. Hope this was of interest and uh, I will be covering the Revolution trains, cargo wagons. You saw them in the running session. There's a little bit much more to run on those, some issues with those, and I will have that fully covered off for, for review. Hopefully in the next five or six days, I'll get that out as well. And uh, that should be an interesting review. It's my first review of a Revolutions Trains model. I haven't ever uh, reviewed any model from them before. I've never had one a model from them before. Uh, so it is quite interesting from that perspective. And uh, we'll talk about that hopefully in the next few days. So thanks for joining today. We hope you got something out of this. Please leave your comments if you have these KFA wagons and what you think about them. Uh, please uh, give your uh, comments, please, and uh, would welcome those. Otherwise, we'll hopefully see you on the next review. And in the meantime, happy modeling.